Hi all folks, this is Max from OneXRoot.com. Today I'm going to show you how to unroot your phone completely back to stock. Um, this is going to be the method number one. If you're on a stock ROM, if you're on a custom ROM, um, hopefully you made a backup of your stock ROM. Um, so go ahead and use Clockwork Mod Recovery to restore back to your stock ROM. I'll have another guide on how to um, how to uh, unroot back to factory if you're on a custom ROM and somehow you didn't make a backup of your stock ROM or you lost it. I'll have another video on it, but this one will show you how to do it on a stock ROM. Very easy to do. Um, this is actually the same method as I did a video about the universal Android unroot guide. So go to the Play Store and you're gonna download uh, ES File Explorer. Um, there you go. And we'll do this all together. And we're simply got, gonna get rid of, gut out all the um, all the files that we don't need. And uh, uh, really, you would only do this um, if you wanted to return it for warranty. Um, so I don't actually advise you to do it otherwise. So go ahead and open the ES File Explorer. Um, say yes, cling to the right, and hit that um, button, hit settings, and go down to uh, root explorer, and hit the button there, and say yes, and uh, this will pop up your super user request, and say grant, or allow, um, <clears throat> and now you have super user access to um, <clears throat> to your file system. Now you can uh, hit the mount file system. This allows you to actually um, delete files in your system folder. Now we're all good to go hit back button and then hit favorites and hit the second button here. That gives you to the root directory and we're going to just go erase all those system uh, rooting files that were installed. Go to system, go to bin and you can hit that list button go down to um, SU um, and erase it. Is there SU? Sometimes there is only there is no SU on. So um, if it's not here, don't worry about it. Go hit the back button. Go to XBIN. It's e either in BIN or XBIN. Um, sometimes it's in both. You just have to erase those two files. Um, so there's SU. Uh, there's SU. So do a long press. Delete. All right, and that got rid of root pretty much. And then we also have to get tr uh, rid of the uh, super user app. So go to system, app, go down to S. Oh, it's taking a while here. Um, super user .abk. do a long press and delete. And also you can use a super user app um, to delete <laughs> root also. Um, but this way it makes sure, uh, just in case you don't have the older version of super SU which doesn't have that option. Um, once that's done, we have to actually go relock the bootloader and also install the stock um, recovery image. So what you're gonna do is hold down the volume down and the power button and then hold it down until your phone gets into the bootloader in about 10 seconds here. And let go. And next, uh, it's gonna be on fast boot. just hit power button. And it says unlock right, we're gonna relock it. Um, next, connect the USB cable here. Before we relock it, um, oops, yes. Before we relock it, we're gonna make sure uh, to install the stock recovery. So now it should say fast boot USB like that. Leave it aside and let's go to our computer. Next, go ahead and download this file called uh, 1xunroot.zip and unzip it and you'll get a folder called 1xunroot, all right? And this is right now in my download folder under Max Downloads. That's where it usually goes. Um, you can actually do this. I have a Mac and, uh, Mac and Linux files in there. Um, but um, I'll have another instruction set uh, for that too. So next what you want to do, uh, let me zoom out here. Um, hit start up here. Your start button, Windows button, and hit CMD. And for uh, Linux or Mac, open up a terminal. If you don't know how, please Google it. Google has, uh, makes you smarter. All right, and then we're gonna type, yep. 
CD space downloads, um, right? And then we're going to go CD space um, 1x unroot, like that, and enter. And then we're going to type fast boot flash recovery uh, recovery.img. This will flash the stock recovery. Um, also, make sure you have your drivers installed. If you fall, if you're using the same computer you use to root it, you should most likely have it. If you don't, go um, go install the drivers. Um, my rooting method shows you how to exactly um, install the drivers, so you can you can follow the methods at um, 1xroot.com if you don't have it installed. And hit enter. And uh, hold on a second here. If you get an error, um, if you don't get that waiting thing, go look up in device manager. For some reason, it, I have an exclamation mark. It usually works. Um, what you can try is just unplug it and plug it back in. So that's what I'm going to do. Plug it back in. And hopefully this time it won't, it won't be, um, be recognized. Mm -hmm. So now it works. So all I have to do is unplug it and plug it back in. And uh, you'll see that it actually flashed the stock recovery when I did it. Um, so that's installed. Let's um, let's do the final thing. Um, what we'll type is type uh, fast boot OEM lock. Right. This will relock our uh, bootloader. All right. And uh, it said it failed, um, and my phone rebooted. But let me get back into uh, bootloader and we can find out if it actually relocked it or not. So hold down volume down and the power button for about 10 seconds. And let me see if it's relocked. It should. Be. Yes, it's relocked. Um, let me show you there. So we're all done. Um, if you don't worry about the fail message, it's just just an error message. But you can see it's relocked. Um, let me reboot now. Go. Oh, how do I reboot this? Um, yeah. You can also do a factory reset if you want to erase all your settings and stuff. Um, right now, I'm not going to do that. Uh, I'm just going to reboot uh, my phone. Just hold down the power button if you want. Oh, here we go. Uh, reboot. So I'll be back when this completely reboots and show you that super user is gone and uh, all the goodies. So it booted up fine. Um, I'll show you that super user is all zipped, gone. Root is gone and you can also um, is, you can access the stock recovery which is very important. If you want to get ACC updates you have to have the uh, stock recovery installed. So you'll see that um, super user is gone there. I don't see it anywhere. Um, so if you want to go one more step farther or for some reason sometimes after you do this it might not boot or something or you get stuck in boot loop that, no worries um, you can always do a factory reset and stock recovery that uh, resets your whole phone so if you're going to return it for warranty you want to do this anyways um, so hold down the volume down and the power button again And then you'll get into the bootloader. And let's check that we have stock recovery now. All right, there we go. So now if we go to recovery and hit the power button, it should be all zip gone. And uh, we can get high on Android again, folks. There you go. So that's the stock recovery. Um, I think you hit volume up and volume down is it no try um volume up and power no that's not it the device okay volume down and power hold on a second let me figure this out oh there we go all right it's just a combination of uh buttons there and you'll you'll get this blue screen somehow um just try with i hit the volume up and power button and i think that's it and uh, go down to uh, wipe data factory reset hit the power button um, this will erase all your personal settings apps it's not going to erase your photos and uh, videos and personal media files say yes 
and it's wiping. Uh, don't worry about all the error messages. It should still work fine. And reboot system now, hit the power button. And uh, when it completely boots, um, you should have a completely stock everything reset it just make sure to uh, copy all your personal media files to your computer before returning it for warranty or um, returning it for another phone <laughs> and I'll be back when this is done so my phone rebooted um, I've got the uh, welcome screen again let me just skip all this to show you that uh, it's been reset it back to factory Alright, so we're back here and uh, everything is stock, all your settings, apps, passwords removed, um, ready for returning back to warranty and uh, it will still say in the bootloader um, that it's relocked, um, that's how ACC can tell but uh, in my experience they actually don't look at that so long as they can. Um, there's no root and stuff and don't tell them you rooted your phone um, they're not going to even tell the difference so that's all uh, stock apps everything stock um, pretty much ready to go you can return it um, that's how you unroot your phone if you have a stock rooted ROM and I'll have another instruction set for uh, um, non uh, if, if you're on a custom ROM and you've lost your stock uh, ROM backup anyway if you like this video if you have an HTC One X don't forget to subscribe to my email list at uh, onexroot.com uh, where I update you once or twice a week with tips, hacks and more ROMs of the week um, once or twice a week uh, it's not annoying but, um, it helps me greatly to communicate with you and me I don't share your email with anyone else and if you're on YouTube don't forget to hit that like button for me um, subscribe button if you have thanks a lot and uh, share this with your friends on oops I ran out of battery there uh, anyway share this with your friends Twitter on <laughs> on Twitter, Facebook, or Google Plus. And folks, um, stay high on Android. Um, it's 420. Um, anyway, see y'all later.